Hello everybody and welcome back to Revise Enterprise. On today's channel, I'd like you to help you with a six mark GCSE at Excel business studies question. I'm going to target today it's topic 1.4, so it's part of theme one, which is called making the business effective. Now the exam question today is going to be based on the concept of business plans, which is part of topic 1.4. What I'd like to do is show you the model answer and try and help you get six marks on this question. Let's have a look together. So the question is, discuss the purpose to a business of writing a business plan. Now the first thing we'll do before we action a response to this question is we'll underline some of the keywords in this question here. So if we just switch on the board. First keyword we're going to underline is discuss. Discuss questions in your exam are very similar to analyse questions. Discuss questions normally, though, have no scenario attached to them, all right? And usually they don't require the, the um, uh, student to write down a conclusion to the question as well. Discuss the purpose. Purpose is why is something done to a business, or underline business as well, of writing a business plan, all right? Now, if you've already done part of theme 1.4 already, you should have learned about the concept of business plans some of the strengths of writing a business plan and why a business actually needs to write them as well. All right, and that should help you with writing a response to this question. So it's a discuss question. There's no scenario attached to it. Let's have a look now and see if we can get you six out of six marks on this question. Now on Revise Enterprise, you're gonna use the traffic light system. The traffic light system is you make a point, you explain the point, and then finally, what it will lead to, the impact on the business. If you can divide your answer into two different parts using the traffic light system, which is three different parts here, we do that twice, then you should be able to get six marks on the question. So let's have a look at putting this now into practice, point, explain, and impact. So here's a model answer for you. So first concept in terms of the purpose of a business plan. The first purpose of writing a business plan is it helps the business get approved for finance. They'll need to correctly um, identify a business plan, they'll need to write a business plan in order to obtain finance from a bank or another institution. So it can help the business attain finance, which is a good thing. Okay, middle part of the, uh, the answer here is your explain bit. So this means that the business is then able to lend money from a bank or another institution in order to purchase stock or equipment for their business. So you've given your purpose, first of all, and then you link the comment in and now you've given an explanation. What's it's going to mean that for the business in the middle? And then finally, what's the impact? What is it gonna to lead to, all right? So this will lead to the business being able to trade effectively in the market and start making profit. So the impact is effectively what it's gonna to lead to for the business. So if you can lay out your answer, first of all, in a, a concept just like this, red, amber, green, you'll get three marks out of three on this first part of the question. No conclusion needed here, which is good. Uh, we've described one purpose, now we're looking for another purpose. So another purpose of a business plan is the following. Writing a business plan helps the business correctly identify the target market for their products and services. So another strength or another purpose, if you like, of writing a business plan, it allows them to correctly identify their target market. Okay, middle comment, then we say we need an explanation now. This is because the business plan should contain detailed feedback and analysis from their primary and secondary market research. So if the business has correctly done their market research, they should be able to identify who their target market is for their products or services. And then finally, what is the impact, what it's gonna to lead to? Well, if they can correctly identify their target market, it's gonna to lead to higher sales, which is a good thing, and the ability to satisfy the needs of their customers, resulting in a successful business venture. So again, you've described the purpose, you've explained it in the middle, and then you've finally um, moved on to an impact, what it's gonna to lead to for that particular business. And if you lay it out just like that, you should be able to achieve six out of six marks on this particular question. I'd like to finish today by just saying thank you for tuning in. And if you give me a like and subscribe as well on the channel, it'd be much appreciated. If you'd like to also follow the content on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and also on Tess Online, then please follow the links provided on the screen now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.
You're gonna burn.